Good morning. One of the most important drivers of industrial success for an economy is a country's ability to inexpensively produce energy, which can be used by their consumers and by factories. The first industrial revolution was powered by coal and Britain, Germany, and the United States, we have a lot of coal. The 20th century was about crude oil and the US has a lot of that too. And it means that Russia, the Middle East and other OPEC suppliers were able to join that party. In the 21st century, China dominates the solar and the wind industries. And there are seven companies here in China that generate more energy globally than the seven biggest oil companies in Western countries. This has deep geopolitical considerations because Chinese solar equipment can be installed anywhere the sun is shining, whereas oil and gas companies can only really set up where they have reserves under their feet, which can be profitably hauled out of the ground and then refined and then delivered to the markets. Our biggest oil companies became so powerful that they would eventually by themselves exert tremendous influence over rural governments. We called them the Seven Sisters, and eventually their influence was reduced a bit by giant state-owned oil companies in Russia, Saudi Arabia, and in other countries. But now we're likely to see another global shift in power and influence to Chinese companies, who are now the sources of giant pools of energy production. Here, we need to think in terms of useful energy itself, crude, natural gas, nuclear, solar power, wind. It's only useful to us when converted into actual energy. And when we do that, we're able to compare all these sources in an apples to apples way. The seven sisters are still around, even though they've grown and merged and changed their names. For example, it's actually ExxonMobil now. The biggest Western oil companies are here. They produce so many millions of barrels of oil per day, which translates into useful energy in the second column. One exajoule of electricity is what Italy or Australia, for example, will need for one year. So ExxonMobil every year is producing enough energy for eight Italys, we could say. But a lot of the raw material energy that these companies pull out of the ground is actually wasted as much as 80%. Only a fifth of the chemical energy is turned into kinetic. Gas turbines fired by natural gas are better, but not by much. Only one third efficiency when we account for power loss over transmission lines and across distances. But there is a caveat which Bloomberg lays out for us. Oil companies are always looking for new reserves. Everything they're pumping is burned up in a few months and they need to go find more. Solar companies' equipment continues producing, and the factories that make that solar equipment keep producing for many years. When we compare the proven energy reserves for our big seven to the production capacity of China's solar seven, all of Chinese companies go to the top. To say this in a different way, when Exxon takes a barrel of oil out of the ground and refines it and then is burned to produce energy, Exxon needs to find another barrel. When a solar farm powered by Tongwei's solar panels produces electricity, it can do so again without new investment. And Tongwei can continue producing new solar panels for new electricity generation without any new major capital improvements on their existing solar plants. Policymakers and officials in the United States and in the European Union are placing import restrictions on Chinese solar equipment and power equipment. Naturally, this means far higher prices in electricity markets in the US and Europe. But it's also missing the point because the entire rest of the world is buying Chinese solar panels at low cost. The entire rest of the world is also buying Chinese appliances and electronics and electric vehicles, which of course need electricity to run them. Just like coal in the 19th century and crude oil in the 20th, the ability to deliver cheap energy at scale will drive economic success in the 21st century. China's central bank has already declared that they're going to invest heavily in that effort. And we did a presentation on that previously, which we'll link to. This is Lebo Karst Forest. 
and Guizhou Guizhou province. Be good. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. You are the salt of the earth. 